man. Quite busy, you feel me? From uh, we write entertainment, you know what I'm talking about? From gals, and uh, by the way, man, I'm looking for a name. Y'all got any ideas, y'all send it to me, man. Y'all can check us out at uh, www.thugfacemusic.com, you feel me? Yeah, I ain't gonna spell it out for you, but it's real easy to, you know, to get to, you feel me? But either way, y'all can check, check me on Facebook under Thomas YB Wright, uh, Instagram, Thomas underscore YB underscore Wright, or Instagram at TFM underscore Live Flow, you feel me? We, got, we also got a modeling page, uh, we write underscore ENT. Y'all check us out, man. Well, we coming from uh, Galton, Tennessee, but we really we trying to branch off and show love for the whole team. Cause I feel like it ain't it ain't enough of us out here. It's, it's plenty of us out here doing doing our thing. You feel me? But there ain't a lot of us out here putting in putting in work and really trying to build this this state up. You feel me? It's a lot of niggas that's on that ain't reaching out, trying to help brothers out and uh, show motherfuckers the way and shit. You feel me? We ain't to stop that. We coming to, we coming uh, to correct that. Let me better worry that. But uh, either way, I want to touch topics on, oh um, ah, yeah, this is my first vlog, man. This is my first vlog for uh, for my music. I'm going to try to document at least once a week, you feel me, so y'all can keep up keep up to date with what we got going on and shit, you feel me. But um, today's topic, we're going to be talking about the, the current state of hip-hop in Middle Tennessee. All right. Now, just speaking on, the only thing I can really speak on is for what I know and uh, the area that I'm from, and I'm from Middle Tennessee. I'm, I'm from Galton, but you might as well sound from Middle Tennessee. You know what I mean? There ain't a place uh, around here that I ain't been, you feel me? But uh, let's talk about the first, the first and foremost thing that I think is hindering uh, a lot of uh, independent people, you feel me? Or well, not independent, local artists, you know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of cold local artists out here that really don't know, you know, the avenues to go down or, or whatever, whoop the whoop. Well, the current state of Middle Tennessee's hip hop is like niggas is just doing whatever. You feel me? Now, I ain't gonna tell you not to do whatever. I ain't gonna tell you not to. I'm not gonna tell you to go press up. Don't press up a lot of shirts with your name on it and try to sell to people. I'm not gonna tell you to uh, don't record over and over and over and over and over and over again. You feel me? Just to, for you and your homeboys to listen to. But it's a way to go by things, uh, especially when you're trying to brand yourself and you wanna get out there and you know what I'm saying you want to put on and get on actually make money off of your, what you're doing you feel me a, a lot of people don't believe in uh, copyrights or, or being legit uh, a lot of niggas think uh, business is a street thing and it ain't you know a street thing you ain't really gotta sign you ain't really gotta make no resume to sell dope you really ain't gotta have no resume to rob niggas uh, to put on or get in no gang or you really ain't gotta have no resume or man a face card to get you anywhere you're trying to go at but what I, what with the music, you need you need a resume. You need uh, EPKs, man. You need to get your you need to get your shit documented. All that shit registered. Your music registered. A, a lot of people getting instrumental beats. They see a lot of people around the world doing beat jacks and getting on, getting famous and stuff. But what they don't know is a lot of them beat jack motherfuckers that get on, they either in the area where it's at, where, where they already got the population, the music population going for them. Or they already got a buzz with the streets already, you feel me? This is the reason why they pop like that. Now, you ain't just going to pop up tomorrow and do a, a song to to that Bodak Yellow and think you're going to be on, even though Cardi B got on doing the Kodak Black song, you, you feel me? They in two different locations, and, and, and it was just, it, it right time, everything. It right time, right place, all that shit matters, you feel me? For the reason why they got on, but... If you wanna, if you wanna be somebody, man, if you wanna brand yourself, uh, get yourself out there, man, be respected for who you is and what you do, and you know, really make a move with this shit, you feel me? Get, get registered, man. Go, go on, sign up. You know what I'm saying? And get some, put some money behind your mouth. Put some money behind what you're doing. You feel me? If you, if you feel you hard with the music, it, whether you do country music, uh, rap, R&B, uh, whatever you do, even if you just film. Put some money behind that shit, you feel me? Put all your money behind it, actually. And put your time behind it, you feel me? Um, with today's uh, marketing, how shit go with, like, internet, the internet, uh, social media. You got uh, you got so many people out here, man, that can help you get to where you're going. But you ain't going to know it unless you get the searching and get the looking and get the networking with these motherfuckers, you feel me? But a lot of people, they, they feel like 
um, let's 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 click up. Let's uh let me let me click up with dude, cause dude got weight on him. You know, like say for we're gonna say Buck, cause Buck he on right. He he got uh he signed and shit. You got a lot of niggas, I'm pretty sure, and like, I don't know Buck personally, but uh I'm pretty sure he got millions of niggas hitting him up, you know, wanting to eat off his coat, off his plate, you feel me? Buck can't I, I'm I'm here to tell you, and I don't even know Buck, and I can tell you this, this is just common sense. Buck can't help you, nigga. You, you gotta help yourself, you feel me? You gotta put your own work in, put your own shit in. You can get a feature with Buck to, to you know, get, get a little attention from you, you feel me? But Buck can't help you get on, man. You you gotta get on. You gotta put yourself in that spot. You gotta put yourself in these clubs, uh, network with these people, these DJs, uh, get, the, get a couple niggas to market your shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, you feel me? You really gotta wear you, you know what I mean? Instead of wearing Tommy Hill figure and Ivan Carver, Ivan Carver, whatever you call that crunchy, uh, and, and Fubo and all that shit, get wear yourself, you feel me? If your name uh, Brian Underkin, you know what I'm saying? Get some Brian Underkin shirts, uh, Brian Underkin pants, hell, write Brian Underkin on your shoes. Take a picture with that shit, you feel me? And take that motherfucker here where you go with it. No matter what you're doing, uh, one thing, one thing is is for real. Branding is a motherfucker, man. And I know I'm t touching on a, a lot of topics at once in a, in a mix. Try to stay focused on me. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or rewind the tape. You feel me? Because that's why I, I, all I do is spit game and uh, and knowledge for motherfuckers, man. Especially in this music shit, man. That's what I want to do. That's what I've always wanted to do. That's what I've always did. You feel me? But um, either way, the, the main thing is I don't see. I don't see local artists putting money where they mouth at, you feel me? I don't see uh, artists putting money behind their products. Uh, a nigga get a beat jack, go to his homeboy studio, pop that shit on social media, and, and that be what it is. Then tomorrow, you'll see them niggas pushing out a whole nother song, you feel me? Y'all moving backwards, man. When you move backwards, that's like, that's like buying an ounce of dope, man, just to re-up with a quarter, you feel me? That's, that's moving backwards, you feel me? You gotta go, you gotta keep moving forward. More and more and more and more. You know, when you climb a ladder, you don't go down, you go up, you feel me? You gotta keep climbing. You know what I'm saying? After you complete one of your missions, you go do another mission, you feel me? To, to get even more rep. You see what I'm talking about? That, that's the same thing with the music, man. A lot of a lot of artists don't wanna do that. I don't know what it is, but if you ask any artist, you be like, man, you, you wanna blow up? Hell yeah, all of them gonna be like, hell motherfucker, yeah, nigga, I'm ready, nigga. We the truth, uh, we the shit, we the movement. And you know what I mean? And really, they not, you feel me? They really at home, goddamn it, don't even know which way to go. You see what I'm saying? They don't know what to do next. You see what I'm talking about? A lot, a lot of niggas out here, they'll get in shows left and right. Some niggas are fortunate though. Some niggas are already connected by birth and shit, and uh, somebody else made it. And and all they had to do is get on their van wagon, get on their coattail, you feel me? And they, they might be getting paid for shows, but these niggas ain't got no videos, you feel me? They might be getting paid for shows, but these niggas ain't got no fan. Yeah, like that fan base, man. That's something serious. If you ain't got no following, man, and you out here doing shows and stuff, you ain't got no merch, you ain't got nothing, you just collect the money when you go do shows, you, you really ain't, you know what I'm saying, you ain't building no nothing. You building a house without a foundation, you feel me? You need, you need a foundation, man. Start somewhere. But also, you gotta go for yours. Go for If you good enough, man, put your bread behind, like I was saying, put your bread behind what you doing, you feel me? Your name, your brand, your music. Put everything behind that one thing at a, one t one thing at a time. You feel me? And uh, and, and you'll make it. You'll see progress, man. And, and another thing, before I go, cause these are short vlogs, but I'm gonna give y'all the game though. Stop listening to your neighbor. Stop listening to your neighbor, man. And these niggas ain't on. These niggas in the same spot you in, same street you on. Stop listening to them niggas. You go listen to a motherfucker that's above you, man. Somebody you respect, somebody you look up to, or somebody that's in a position where you want to be in. You feel me? And surround yourself with greatness, man. Real shit. That's what it. That's what it do. That's what it do, man. From a uh, YB, rewrite entertainment. You feel me? I'm gonna get up with y'all next week, man. The, and oh uh, yeah, my my daily game, my daily uh, tips for local artists, man. And the, my first one, and like the most important thing is get registered, man. Get registered with BMI. Ask Cab, it, it don't matter who you get registered with, register your music, man. This, this is before you show anybody, before you push it anywhere, before you put any money on your shit, before you go put it on social media, uh, anywhere, before you send it to DJs, all that shit, register your music, straight up. <laughs>
me up. They gon' try to foul me up. My nigga, I'm too good with. See how my voice go over the mic, man. Why win us? Either way, I go, my nigga. I'm